Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Northern Electric Rotary Desk Telephone. This is Dan's equipment from Illinois. This is the initial checkout of this telephone. It's in very good condition for its age. It has some issues. We want to troubleshoot through the telephone and repair our issues. And we want to go ahead and show you on our line cord. We're going to troubleshoot this line cord. If it turns out to be good, we're going to install a modular port adapter so Dan can plug it into any modern jack. So we want to get that straightened out. We also want to give you a look at this telephone. It is in very good condition for its age. We want to go through the transmit, the receive. We also want to troubleshoot our handset cord. We want to make sure that that is good. We want to go through our rotary. We want to make sure that this is cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. We also want to get a dial center card and ring for this telephone. And we want to give you a look at this unit. It's in the Art Deco style. We have the cover loose. It has its original schematic. That's a plus. We want to go through our bell, our bell circuit, our network, make sure that this unit is wired properly. We also want to go through the block, and then we also want to go through our hook switch. So we want to get a start on this unit. We're going to come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool Northern Electric Rotary Desk Telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. We're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this Northern Electric Rotary Desk Telephone. And we're going to run through a little bit about what's going on. Now we're troubleshooting the line cord. And we have an issue with the line cord. It's not really any good and it needs to be replaced. Now the lines inside the cover here Basically what happens is they get real brittle and so then when they lose their coating inside the wire it can cause a short and so in order to keep from having a future problem with this line cord and it's not really that long anyway it's only about three feet long it's just too brittle to use and then back where it goes into the telephone the cord is just so brittle it's just not uh, any good any longer and it just breaks right off so that's just going to be a lot of issues that we can resolve by replacing the line cord now I spoke with Dan and he wants an 8 foot line cord installed on it so we're going to go ahead and make that cord, install it. Then we'll be working on the bell, the bell circuit, the network, the block. We'll go into the rotary, the hook switch, and we need to troubleshoot the transmit and receive. The handset cord feels pretty pliable, and so I think we're going to be able to use that, but we still need to troubleshoot that issue. So we'll go ahead and finish that work off and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this Northern Electric Rotary Desk Telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this Northern Electric Rotary Desk Telephone. And we're going to run through a little bit about what's going on. Now, we went ahead and properly installed the handset cord. It was not in the right area. They had a big knot in it, and they expected that to keep the handset cord from coming out of the uh, base and the front cover of the telephone. So that's mounted properly. 
we went ahead and installed our line cord and brought it in through the bottom, through the base, like it's supposed to be. That's been mounted and installed. We also cleaned up a lot of our issues here and went through our block and our network. Now we found that this telephone was wired improperly. It was working, but they had the unit wired where it would not hang up. So you could not hang the telephone up, so it was improperly wired. That issue has been resolved. We also went through the bell and the bell circuit. The bells have been adjusted. So we also cleaned the rotary, oiled and adjusted the rotary. The hook switch was taken care of. That was gone through and cleaned. So there was a lot of different issues that were resolved. Now we are working on the handset. This is our amplified pickup. We use this in repairing, troubleshooting, and on our final checkout. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And you may hear a little noise from the amplifier because amplifiers with a pickup on them will throw a little bit of atmospheric noise. That's not an issue. It comes over like a little bit of a hum. What we're concerned with is the transmitter, which is a carbon granule transmitter, an F1. We're going to have to change that because we're going to give you some dial tone. And I'm going to set the handset on the uh, receiver so we can pick up the noise that the transmitter is sending. It's a real staticky noise. Now all T1s, F1s, carbon granule transmitters will be a little noisy here or there. This one has to be changed. It's just too noisy. So we're going to go ahead and give you some dial tone. And I have a button on my amplifier and I can push that and give dial tone or take it away at any time. So let's go ahead and plug the telephone in and we'll give you some dial tone. And I want to take dial tone away by hitting the hook switch real quick like we're dialing a 1. And we want to listen to this handset. You can hear that crackling static. And it can get worse the longer it goes along. should be able to pick that up in the video. It's kind of a staticky, hissing, crackling, popping noise. Now, I'm going to go ahead and shut the amplifier off. In the old days, that's why you would see people have a handset and they would pop the handset in their hand. You know, they would uh, take the handset and they'd go like this because sometimes that would uh, quieten down the static sensation. So we're just going to go ahead and change the F1 transmitter and we'll show you that real quick. This is the style of transmitter that's in these type of telephones. It's an F1. It's very noisy. So we will be changing that. And they all make a little bit of noise, but this one is just too much noise. And down the road, if need be, we can always install an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop. And the quality of that electronic amplified transmitter is of a higher quality than you would ever get with any carbon granule transmitter that's available. 
So we're going to go ahead and take care of this issue, put the telephone back together again, and then we also need to install a dial center card and ring. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with repair of this really cool Northern Electric Galleon rotary desk telephone and we want to start our final checkout. So we're going to go ahead and use the analyzer and we're going to send a ring cycle so we'll start that. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch the red light there on that analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, we have transmit and receive, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. We have a nice smooth return on the rotary. around 80, mostly clear this evening, lows in the lower 60s, mostly sunny Thursday, highs in the upper 80s. We can hang our unit up. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll make that call. Hang our unit up. Now we also want to do a still picture of our dial center card that we installed with a ring and that's to the period of the telephone. Now that we know that this really cool Northern Electric Galleon telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Dan and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where he uses it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.